What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I know it's been a long time. So, <laughs> MTG Pyro, thank you for the resub. And you just asked, where have you been? Um, well, basically, me and Katie moved to the Fort Collins area in Colorado um, maybe three weeks ago, four weeks ago, probably about a month now. And since then, we've just been, like, setting up the house. You know, it's like, I don't, I don't know if you guys have the same experience but whenever I move nothing fits the same way right the furniture goes in different places you hang things in different places you set your things up different ways sometimes you had places for your old stuff and then you move to the new place and it doesn't quite fit in the same places so you have to like get new furniture for those things and like so we've been like just setting things up and like living and I've been taking a break Paladin Jaegen, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. I've missed you guys a ton, actually. I'm really glad that we're we're having this modern cube night tonight. So anyway, basically, like, we've just been moving, and um, Katie is off between, like, the past few weeks up until, like, July, early July, um, because that's, like, when her internship ended and her residency starts. So most of the time, I've just been, like, hanging out, staying home, doing stuff like that. I also started a new job, which is pretty sweet. So I've been focusing more on that. And uh, yeah, so all good things. No negative things that have happened while uh, to explain my absence. But yeah, it was mostly just like I didn't want to like I need I just needed a break. There's so many things going on between moving and, you know, jobs and time off and things like that. So that's where I've been. And right now, currently, I'm going to do this modern cube draft. And I'm hoping there are a ton of sweet, sweet new gems from Modern Horizons 2. Because this set has looked so fantastic. All right. Buddha style, what up? Welcome, welcome back, buddy. Good seeing you, Kerwit. Thank you for the resub, my dude. I appreciate you. Also, we got a little hype train going. All right, immediately we see a Kaleida Scorch from Modern Horizons 2. It deals X damage, or X is the number of colors of mana spent to cast this spell. So, this is for your five color deck, and also you can flash it back for another five damage. You know, presuming the Mana Confluence or City of Brass tables, because they're both in this pack. What do you guys think for the Modern Cube? Modern Cube, what are we taking? Damnation? Noxious Gear Hulk? Dissolve? Hmm. Also, it's my birthday, so that's why. I've always streamed on my birthday. It's always fun. Marcel, happy birthday and welcome back. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. Yeah, I always love streaming on my birthday. It's just like... A fun way to hang out with you guys and like <laughs> no you guys have actually been great about the the lack of streaming and it's just nice to see you guys back just like nothing happened i don't know what to take here man i think it's just probably damnation yes it is any target as well which means you can kill their planeswalker you can kill their face Kill the face. Uh, we got a flay essence here. Tiger Nate with the 990 bits. That's pretty hilarious. Also, big money grip. Thank you for the bits earlier. These are the rest of my bits. Don't spend them all in one place. Congrats on sharing a birthday with Mitchell. I assume you mean Mitchell, but that's okay. Tiger Nate, thank you, buddy. You are awesome. I would love to say cryptic command. What does this do? Exile a creature or planeswalker. You gain life equal to the number of counters on it. It's pretty good. Three mana gets rid of anything. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> I've watched so much Newman on YouTube while you've been away, and bless him. He's just not nearly as much fun to watch. You've heard it here first, guys. I have to take Cryptic Command. I'm sorry. I just have to. And then we're going to follow it up with a sweet, a sweet-ass Polluted Delta. Go for the Throat is nice. I think the Modern Cube is more mid-rangey. And less, um, like, obviously it's not vintage, it's not legacy. There's, there's not these combos, like, so you're just, like, killing medium creatures. MTG Pyro, thank you for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it, my dude. 
There's 30 seconds on this sub hype train. So get in here. Get in. Get in. Get out on that. <laughs> New mod, a little weird sometimes. <laughs> Coming from Kerwit, you, you got to know it's true. Oh, a drowned catacomb. See, I'm just going to take all of the lands that are on color for us because Cryptic Command and Damnation, not super easy to cast. Suspend is pretty sweet. So is Valky, so is Torrential Gear Hulk. But let's pop that guy open. I like having those. MTG Pyro with the gifted sub. My God, man. I appreciate you. <sighs> oh, excuse me, guys. Made a little made a little noise there. Also, my desk is filthy too. There's so much junk on my desk between like magic cards and tools and things. I literally have no idea what to take here. Collective brutality, maybe? Uh, let's take Pact of Negation. Whatever. Whatever, man. Ooh, hard evidence. God, there's a lot of hits from the Modern Horizons, too. I guess they just jammed a bunch of things in here. Create an O3 crab and investigate for one mana. This is interesting because you can, like, flash it back. You can Snapcaster it. It's actually kind of interesting. I think I'm going to take Heartless Act. I'm glad to have heard all the good news that has been two days off. Good news that I have had and... and it's been two days off. Good news... That I have had and heard. Oh, really? Is that good? Do you mean that's good, right? Every time I see Yorian, I think it's Swans of Bryn Ar A It's Bryn Abagnale. <laughs> it's in two days of good news that I've had. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I'm glad to hear it. Also, Timeless Dragon is pretty sweet. So is Solemn Simulacrum. I think we're just going to go with the Jace here. How is the new job going? I recall you saying you probably cannot, you probably cannot tell. Oh, it's, it's completely tell. It's completely remote. I don't know where, I don't know what we're referring. Oh no. The, so what you're referring to is the riot position that I was interviewing for. Unfortunately, I did not get that. Um, but I did get a different position that I've been in talks with since January. So... I want to take Blood Crypt. I, I mean, we can get it with Polluted Delta, which is pretty sweet. I think it's probably just better than Random Yawgmoth. Oh, I'm glad Noxious Gearhold came back. I like Vizier Many Faces a lot. It's a very solid clone. Pestermite? Pestermite's not going to do much when we're literally not. I'm just going to take this and hope that we can play some big fat dummies. But either way, the new job has been going well. Um, oh, suspend, choops, or profane. I kind of like choops here. Torrential Gear Hulk did not come back, unfortunately. Would have been good with Cryptic and. Well, probably just Cryptic, really. I guess Heartless Act, but that's not exciting. Chupacabra. That guy is exciting, though. Land's looking okay so far. Especially considering we have a Cryptic Command. Just got the go-ahead to close on buying my house on Tuesday. MTG Pyro, congrats, dude. That's a big step, man. Oh, Ashiok. Persists an interesting ad. You can get back your uh, worm coil. This is, in a, this is now a Phyrexian worm. That's really interesting. That's interesting. I didn't even know that. Huh. Uh, Katie and Michael are both asleep. They have to be, they were both up pretty early today and uh, yeah, we're taking Ashiok. Yeah, no, it's like, it's like 11, it's like almost midnight here. Everyone else is asleep. I'm the only one awake right now. Mm, Scalding Tarn is probably a banger. It also gets us uh, Blood Crypt, which means it's a 
well, technically a try land. Yeah, that seems good. Let's take it. Not the plague. What up, my dude? Good seeing you, buddy. Man, all you guys who stayed subbed, I really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. I love all of you. Jace the Mind Sculptor? Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll take a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Ooh, Kalidus, probably Fatal Push, right? We have two fetch lands so far. Yeah, let's take Fatal Push. I don't think we need another four drop. I inhaled deeply. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Ooh, Bloodstained Mire. That gives us the, the Grixis trifecta of, of, of fetch lands. I mean, we could just take Grave Titan, which is also just very good. Honestly, I don't like watching MTG besides you. Man, I appreciate that. That's a great compliment. I don't know, I don't know why or what, uh, what quality I have. Oh, also Sylvan Anthem, which is pretty solid. Green creatures get play. It's like a, it's a green honor of the pure, but because it costs a double green, the, the bonus you're getting is that you get to scry with your green creatures. Also Rift Sower, which is basically like Search for Tomorrow. I'm going to take Titan. I don't think we need a third fetch. I do think we need more um, ooh, Clattering Augur. 1-1 one, one for 2. It can't block. When there's a battlefield, draw a card and lose a life. So it's basically um, the Vampire Dude. Zealot, the Zealot guy. I'm going to take Obnixilis because I'm here to to play big fat. Oh, I like a prismatic ending. <sighs> hmm. Mask Worm? I think we have two. We have two six drops here. Languish is pretty good. Oh, yeah. Actually, I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's funny to hear you that because I definitely do focus on viewer interaction a ton. I could see Languish. Yeah, I think it is Languish. We actually don't have anything that is, like, bad with Languish. The only creature we have before four is Hangerback Walker. Ooh, a Blitz. Priest of Felrites is also pretty sweet. It's a 2-2 two, two for 2. Um, but you it's just literally a, a reanimate, and if they kill it, you can reanimate again. That card's pretty sweet. Obliterator. For the meme, technically all of our lands tap for black right now, except for Scalding Tarn, I guess. I mean, we're just going to take the Mass Manips, right? Yeah, maybe it's Wish Strider. Wish Strider puts two blockers out, which is good when you have multiple Planeswalkers. But then again, we have Gilded Lotus, so... Um, Milliken actually seems... Oh, this is actually... I thought this was... For some reason, I thought this was Mindstone. I don't know why, but I did. And now I'm just going to take Mirror Battle Sphere. Oh, Blue Black Land. That's pretty good. Um, could be Blood Chief's Thirst. I think we just want the Blue Black Land. Clearwater Pathway was a nice a nice little, little bonus there. Hmm. Interesting. I guess Night Veil Spectre is fine. Definitely not looking for more four drops here. Might cut Vizier for now. Electrolyze is pretty actually easy to cast. Clattering Augur actually does some work too. Oh, it can't block. Oh, that guy sucks if it can't block. Right? It's for like it's gotta be for like for the sack deck, right? I'm not here for like a one one that can't block, man. Hmm. Guy a drone. Is this Gaia Drone? Gaia Drone? Gaia Drone? I don't actually know how to pronounce this card. I have Phyrexian Negator in my Vintage Cube. I also have like Grey Merchant, Giraffe's Messenger. 
This pack is really good. Glenelundra, Ugin, Murderous Rider. I think it's the Gaia Drone. Like the plus two negative two, like protect itself is pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. We're just gonna we're gonna play new planeswalkers. Ooh, Snapcaster gets back Heartless, Fatal Push. Let's actually sort my mana value here. Languish Damnation. Yeah, we gotta go with Snappy. Oh, but Magma Opus. Man, I wish we took the stupid Stupid Gear Hulk. Also, Owl Run's Epiphany is really sweet. Ton of planeswalkers, huh? I mean, I want to take Snappy. Snappy's pretty good. Cabal Coffers. <laughs> also an Urza. Oh, there's a Torok in here? Oh, that's banging. Let's take Torok. Oh, there's a dam. Wow. This is great. I'm loving the number of Modern Horizons cards in here. We have Flame Tongue Yearling and a dam. I could also just play Brazen Bar, or I think Brazen Bar is the pick. I mean, if this was Creature Planeswalker, I'd be in, but then it would actually destroy Creatures and Planeswalkers with Overload, so can't really have that. I'm just going to take Brazy B. Oh, Cyclonic Rift seems actually a little busted here. There's a Grey Merchant. I think it's got to be Cyclonic Rift, right? Like... I mean, Liliana's cool and all, but Cyclonic Rift it just ends games. Is Torok that guy that hunts? Yeah, Torok Dinosaur Hunter. Everybody knows that. Uh, Dothy Voidwalker. Man, I think we're getting... I think we're getting enough cards that I don't really have to... I wish we can... We have no fetch land. We have no, like, uh, shock lands. <sighs> I don't think it's Phyrexian or... Yeah, I'm just going to take this guy. Can, can, can a dude get one... Can I get one shock land? I suppose not. Immerstrom Predator. Vindicate for the first time. That's pretty cool. And I'm just taking Bristlebrand, whatever. Uh, my birthday is the 25th. Oh, Murderous Rider. Wow. Our mana base started out very good and then went downhill. I guess we have a Blood Crypt as a fetch, but I don't know. Watery Grave would have been nice. Oh, Magma Opus came back. Dude, Moon Time Dweller, happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday to you. Um, hmm. Agony's Awakening seems good. Like, get back Torok, Knife Elf, Spectre, Ravenous, Chupacop. Yeah, that's actually playable for sure. Oh, the real team Ramos. I don't think that was your I don't think that was your old name, buddy. Somebody changed their name. Looks like Evil Monkey changed their name. <laughs> what up, Gilbert? Oh, Grey Merchant came back. Soren, sure. All right. I would have loved a blue-black search. Actually, maybe our mana base isn't too bad. We have this, this, and this to get. Yeah, this is not terrible. I am, so far, I am digging the new additions from MH2 and the new additions from Strixhaven. 26 cards. T. Ravis, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. You guys are awesome. Good seeing you guys. Really, really nice to, <clears throat> to be back. It's good to be back. 
Um, Brazy B, you're going to be a two drop most of the time. I do want to keep Damnation just because it's a nice catch all. I don't think I care about Hanger Bag. I don't think I care about Pact. And could probably just board in Damnation. I think I still want Gilded Lotus because it lets us do multiple things in a single turn. Yeah, this seems sweet. Like we have Ashiok, Jace, Gaedron, Jace, Obnixilis. Plus, like, if you go Gilded Lotus on five into Mass Manips for eight, it's pretty good. Yeah, this seems sweet. We can board in Duress and Pact if they're, like, doing some shenanigans. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, Hangerback seems fine, but this also doesn't strike me as a deck I'm going to have time to pump a Hangerback. Like, if we play on two, we have a lot of cards we want on three. Night Vale, Ashiok, Jace. We have a lot of things to do on four. We only have, like, one counter spell, so I'm not, like... I feel like we're more of a, a tap-out deck than we are a uh, keep mana up and... And, and, you know, just counter their stuff deck. This is only ten creatures... But Mass Manips is a creature, hopefully. Hmm. Okay, I still think it's fine. I mean, we can't kick Hanger back out back with Academe anyway. Do you want Shielded instead of Ma Mirror Battle Sphere? Mm, probably not. Plus, we only have like two red cards anyway, so we can play like one Mountain. Perfect. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Four, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is ten, ten. Am I way off here? Twenty-two to eighteen, but we have cryptic commands, so I think this is actually fine. All right, let's see what this. Let's see what these new cards can do. Man, I hope I still remember how to play Magic. Mm, I know enough to keep this. I think. Man, Knife Inspector is so much worse than Thief of Sanity, but I don't know if they have both in here. I like that. Also, I feel like our deck is well positioned against two forests. Always remember, don't play your land before you Night Veil Spectre. Yeah, two forest versus Damnation and Mass Manip and Brazen Bar seems good. Search for tomorrow. All right. <clears throat> Oh, they do have a swamp, though. Gary. Hmm. Well, that is unfortunate. Three damage to a creature. That creature has damage. Goes power to him. Okay. I believe you. Jump into line. Rock your body in time. Okay. Never love playing Brazen Borrow as a man without getting the petty theft off of it, but uh, Night Veil does not allow that. No, you have to actually uh, draw like the lands you need to cast them. Yeah, so like if you draw a white card off of Night Vale, you have to actually draw planes as well and play those planes, and it's a whole it's a whole to do. Okay. Well, that's pretty good. 
Jeez, this is really, this is really like the, the best they could have asked for here. I think. We're discarding a card, huh? Hmm. Yeah, I'll just pass here. Discard a card. Yeah, let's get rid of Swamp. Gary! Okay, well. I'm going to steal both of these. And then attack Nissa, I think. Is that what we want to do? Who knows? Oh, I can steal the Nissa. Never mind. That's probably better, right? Hmm. Eight mana. We can steal Nissa and steal Nissa. Does that do anything? Yeah, Sword is a pretty good draw for them here. Might just play Battle Sphere here. It gets around this sword. Yeah, that seems better. Uh, do anything fun for my birthday. I put together some Ikea furniture. Um, uh, me and Katie and Michael and Katie's brother and Katie's, um, oh, now we can steal this, which is actually kind of cool. Oh, we can steal all three of these actually. If we get the mana, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, we went to a Mexican restaurant called Three Margaritas, which was pretty good. It's one of the better Mexican places around here. Oh, some elf with the resub, buddy. Oh, all right. Well, they're really, they're really doing it here. Oh dear, this is amazing. Hodge Gulashi, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Hmm. Yep, that's pretty good. Boy, they're really, really living it up here, aren't they? Yep. Okie dokie. This is amazing. Okay, so I have no cards in hand. That's good for us, I guess. Kind of. Maybe. Just this guy, huh? Yeah, I don't want to discard any of these, so. Hmm. <laughs> that's, that's interesting, isn't it? Search and for a creature. <sighs> oh, some elf. I'll see you later, buddy. I think I see the car outside for the DoorDash from Kerwit. And there's like a car out. I can see it. <laughs> I can see it. I think it's at the wrong house. Actually, no, that's the correct car. That's uh, Jamie's car. But the lights are shining on it from the car in, our, in front of our house. That's, that's what's going on. They keep two three threes, but they also just get to replay their stuff, which is not super great. I'd rather control their things. Uh, one, two, three... What can we steal? A worker which is a player that player discards a card. I mean, taking this is not super impressive here, right? Hmm. 
Although I don't want to get, I, I think I, this guy's just really good. I actually think it's, I think it's these two. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, that's not what you want to do. Hmm. Yep, this is pretty good. So, this guy doesn't have trample though, right? Three and three. Uh, let's untap a, one of these jobbies. <coughs> All right, that's not too bad. Yep, make two. So this is nice because Cyclonic Rift is gonna bounce both of these. Sure. I would have personally mutated that onto like the wolf and killed the gilded lotus. That's which they did. Sounds good. Yep. Okay. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Pro black and pro green. I kind of like tapping their team and then killing their planeswalkers. Hmm. That seems good. And we also get to keep up another guy. We get to keep up a blocker. It does have trample. Uh, that's pretty bad. Hmm. A lot of options here. I think we're just keeping up cryptic command. What is this unit emblem? Lands you control of indestructible. Search for any of forests. Mm. Put them on the battlefield. Hmm. Well, I think we're just not. I think we're just out of out of damnation business. Like we're not going to be damnationing because then we just lose our lands. But I would like to activate Nissa next turn. Have a couple of three threes. Whisperwood, sure. We can counter that and then tap their team. Yeah, that's fine. Not great, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, planes. So your Whisperwood's going to... No, we're actually going to... Is this when you cast or when, when it enters battlefield? It enters battlefield. Okay, good. So the last card is Whisperwood. Counter target spell, tap all creatures, but then they still make a Garrick 1-1. One, one. Oh, but then we can Damnation. Our guys live. Hmm. Let's counter target spell and tap all creatures. We 
Like they have no cards in hand, so they have to just make a Garrett guy. Sure. And I'll put the sword on him. Oh, they didn't. That's good for us land. No land. Hmm. Uh, no forest cards to search for. Thanks for telling me. Thanks for telling me. So we're going to attack Nissa, Garrick, 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 and Nissa. And then we're gonna then we're gonna damn Nate. Could have actually cyclonic rift to kill both, but then we could not damnation, so. I mean, this is pretty good, and it also makes our future lands, like, this is actually not bad, I think. Let's see what you drew, I guess. That's a good one. That is a good one. But this guy's also pretty good if we can... Oh, we actually don't even need a hill land. We're just going to gain, like, 20 life from this. Nope, they got a sword still. Mm-hmm. If we can hit a land, we can Cyclonic Rift this. Actually, we don't need a land. Wow, they're really just hitting bangers here. It's non-token, right? Okay, good. Oh, what up, Jay Pisto? All right, so... Electrolyze. Can't cast that guy. Uh, one... So we can just... Bounce this, attack with everything, and then play Torok. Thank you. One, two, three. Oh, we just win the game. Wow. That's surprising. Huh. I was not expecting to win the game there. Shanala Cerberus. Thank you for the reset, buddy. Is this Shanala? Did you just add to your name? God, think the things that happen in a, in, in about a month. I actually think Massacre Room is probably pretty good here. Um, I may have <laughs> who knows who can say um, <laughs> so exactly who's to say who who can tell well, let me see if I can color correct myself I feel like I'm a little bit oversaturated 50 oof I think 50 eh, 60 seems good I like it good yeah, that's better. I feel like I'm less red now. Well, I feel like they're making a lot of tokens and kind of going wide. I'm not sure, though. We do need one cut here. My red source is one, two, three, four. That seems plenty for two red cards. How did they kill our Gilded Lotus? Gem Razor. That's right. This guy's just a beater, man. Beater, man. Chase, Obnixilis. Feels we're not launching at one and a half speed. 
Yeah, well, joke's on you, buddy. I don't know how, but it is. I wish Obnixilis killed Planeswalkers. I'm going to submit like this. I think it's fine. Negative three, kill a creature or Planeswalker. Oh, this is a good hand. I will keep it. Oh, look at that guy. Look at you with your with your Pilgrimos. Oh, Firestarter X. Thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Some weird noises going on outside. I don't know what they are. I have my window open because it's kind of nice out. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Right now, it's 58 degrees Fahrenheit. 58. Today, it's, oh, it's going to be nice today. Do I want to kill any of these things? I, I kind of want to kill this. Oh, one, go get your cake, but I can't in the middle of this match because I got to go downstairs and go to the door and get it. Then I got to come back upstairs. I'll get it after this game. Presuming we win. Uh, I hope that hope the bugs don't get it. I should probably just go get it. I just don't want them to play a planeswalker here. Yeah, they have a lot of format of planeswalkers. At least one, the Garrick, so. Okay. Maniparinos. This can go, this can go here. Okay. Well, we have the four. Oh, is this going to be an attack, huh? Yep, that's what we were worried about. That's why we tried to try to prevent it for a turn. I kind of just want to riff this guy. It's not great value, but like it keeps the pressure off. And if we can cryptic command something next turn, which we can't. All right. 18 lands it should be. Well, if a bear is enjoying my cake right now, then you know what? Good for him, you know? Yep. Well, they have seven mana right now. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't foresee us beating that, I'm going to be honest with you. All we needed was land. Yep, turn too late there, buddy. That would have been great last turn, be able to counter the Great Henge, untap, probably play Gilded Lotus. Yep. Oh, Vorin Clex, huh? Counter target spell. I think we're just bouncing the Great Henge. You got it. Oh, good. They did not use Garrick. I like it. <laughs> yep. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Man, we go to one here. I guess we can play Snappy Boy. Just don't have Gem Razor, I guess. Oh, I guess they can't ultimate Garrick. I don't know why. I... Why was I concerned with that? Hmm. Okay. You got it. Give me more things to, to steal. 
fucking, are you serious? Cool. <laughs> Super cool. Yep, awesome. Foundation breaker. Sweet. Well, I was real excited about taking your Garrick and your whatever you cast, but yep, can't cast this guy now. All right. Unfortunate. Good to be back, Magic. Good to be back. Oh, what up, Chris? Yeah, we're just gonna get game three. We're not we're not winning this game. Even though they forgot to activate their Garrick. Good times. All right. <sighs> can take Jace out. He's not super exciting here. Eh, keep this. We need a black source, but any black source is pretty good. Any land now is pretty good. All right. No, there was like four pieces of cheesecake. There was like cookies. There was like a blueberry cobbler type thing. Cool. Sweet. Good times. Love never hitting your third fucking land drop. Welcome back, Magic. Thanks for the, thanks for the welcome back. It's never, never change. Yep. Cool. Batter skull. Yep. Fucking amazing. Let's go to round two. That's good. Oh, look, a black source. I only would have taken 17 damage by then. Sweet match. Kerwit, thank you, buddy. That is awesome. I'll be having some of those treats after this, after the stream here. Yeah. Sweet. Don't stream for a month. First fucking round back. Literally can't draw third land. Cool. Never change. <laughs> Kerwood, I appreciate you, man. You're awesome. Uh, sure. And we got a two drop and two three drops and a four drop. Should be fine. Should be. Mulligans. Starting mulligans. It's really good. All right. I mean, as you guys know, my literal uh, least favorite thing about Magic the Gathering is not being able to play Magic the Gathering. So. <sighs> Always good times. Now we get to keep up Heartless Act. Let's play this guy next. Keep this for... I guess we're probably just playing this as a blue. Gives us three blue for Cryptic, and we already have double black. And the more things change, the more they stay the same. Buddy, you ain't kidding. I feel like my head looks extra, like, extra oily. Let's get some... What? Let's get... I need a, I need some, I need makeup to like, I need some foundation. Like when you're in, like when you're on, on the set of movies or doing interviews. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okay, going up to five is nice because we can just murder us right or this idiot. Hey, don't call him an idiot. Mm. 
birthday oil. My least favorite part of magic is pungent and unkempt individuals at tournaments. I'm a, I'm a fan of your use of the word unkempt. A lot of people think it's unkept. It's not. It's your little English lesson. English lesson. It's an English lesson. Do you think they have a counter spell? Probably. Play it as a clear water pathway. I don't really want to play this. Um, I have not spoken about the new job yet. It is a uh, game design position where I have a lot of input on like character design and things like that. So it's pretty sweet. I, I've really been enjoying it. And the team I'm working with is really great. Okay, we're going to electrolyze... And then we're going to choops. And we're drawing a card from this, so it's kind of like nothing. Arn can get just an Islander up mountain but I guess that's all I really need at this point <sighs> kind of tempted to play the planeswalker here and plus one this clenolendra now eh, let's just put the tubes on the board Let's just get rid of this. Is there going to be a Mike B in your new game? Only time will tell. Hmm. Okie dokie. See, now we can play New Planeswalker. Still keep up Heartless Act. Put a Corruption Counter. Choose this guy. Uh, Mike is still doing the same job, yeah. He's doing good. I guess they can attack my face. Yep, that's all you can do. As Rick Ocasek from the Cars would say, it's all I can do. Uh, yeah, okay. wonder if we have a way around that. Like a way to get rid of the tribunal. So blue, 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 black, black, black. Let's get another island here. Because we can't get a swamp, and I don't think we're getting a mountain. Oh, that's that's pretty sweet. Um Oh, and it has pro white. Wow, that's banging. Yeah, Torok Dread Cantor is in my cube. I just put it in there today. One, two, three, four. Yeah, 
And it's random. 4-3 pro white. Oh, that's really good. Jeez. Jeez. Oh, jeez, Rick. All right. That's pretty good. Okay, you got it. You got it, Champerino. And this is what we're saving the one, two, three, four. This is what we're saving the Grave Titan for anyway, so. Hope you don't have Pact of Negation. You didn't. Oh, they just, oh, wow, that's game. <laughs> that's the end. We could just keep Cryptic Command up. Sure. Okay. I think your mean Mike B is doing well. You can't correct me and then also have a typo. That ain't how that works. Uh, do you get to queue with people? No, because we are. It's remote. It's completely remote. Uh, damnation's probably not what we want in here. I think Pact of Negation is probably good too here, right? Yeah, I take Mass Manips out. Mass Manips. Yep, shipping this hand. Not keeping the one lander with a Gilded Lotus. Mm, that's a good one though. So we want an island with this. Done. Ideally, we'll draw like Drowned Catacomb. That'd be cool. This is where a Watery Grave would just be OP. Yeah, remote job means if you get bored, you can change the channel. Has the same functionality as a regular remote. How fancy. <coughs> Seven drop. That's good. That's a goodie. Elite Spellbinder, huh? Sure. Yep, had a feeling that might be your choice. Bounce this thing. One Sonster, what up, buddy? Welcome back, my dude. Appreciate you. Preach. Um, this I'm actually gonna get a Blood Crypt with now, so I'm just gonna play this. Keep up, Brazy B. So they have six cards. We have four. They also have an extra dude. I guess we also have. The guy a drone. Hmm. 
That was fine. No sub notification audio. That's interesting. Interesting. Let me see if let me see if something works here. Oh, interesting. Desktop audio. How are you gonna be? Okay, I think we fixed it. Very talented. This has cost two more, right? That's pretty good. Okay, notification audio should be working now. Sometimes OES just does weird stuff. They're like, I'm going to change everything. Oblivion stone on the earth. Kind of just want to kill that, right? Seem good. Uh, the pups and the cat and the turtle are all doing wonderfully. Wonderfully. One, two, three, four. So they have three cards. Mm, no counter spell. Next time we can play this, but they have a stone out and they two for one us. I guess it's kind of a two for two. They lose a stone and a thing in the ice for the value of Ravenous Chubacabra and the Gaia drone. Thank you. Oh my God, Spencer Carlson music. I love you, buddy. You got one of them fancy turtle cats? I do. I'm surprised you didn't know that. Um, we're just going to play it as a blue because reasons. I mean, what well, they can return Spellbinder, Thing in the Ice, or Brazen Bar, well, that's fine. They could also blow O Stone and kill their own Elspeth Conqueror, though. None of these are super impressive. That is not what they did. They did not crack O-Stone with the last chapter on the stack. I mean, even if they got this back by doing that, like... We'd still get the Cyclonic Rift and... Okay, well, they're really just one for wanting everything now. Five, six, seven. Yeah, we're just going to play this and not play Gear Hulk here. Is that silly? I don't know. It's a four-turn clock, so it's not, like, super fast. I mean, we could almost hard cast Gristlebrand here if we had one more Black Source. Interesting. I can get a three drop back. I don't f no, I can't get the Planeswalker, right? Yeah, it's too bad that... Uh... Hmm. I think we just get Brazen Barber back here. Wait, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. If we get two more mana, one, two, three, we can actually just get Mirror Battlesphere and Brazen Barber back. I mean, it's got to be better, right? They have two cards. I don't think we're in a rush. So we either draw lands, which fuels this. Maybe I just cast Noxious Gear Hulk because of that. And then if we get one more mana, we can just play Noxious and Brazen Barber for free. That doesn't sound true, but I don't know enough to dispute it. Same. I was like, mm, I don't know. Sure. We got, ooh, a timeless dragon. I like it. Interesting. What did I exile with that guy? Timeless Dragons. So they have one card in hand, huh? This guy's going to flip, but the only thing you can cast is Damn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And I'm tempted to bounce the Conclave Tribunal to kill the Jace. And they just replay it, right? Thank you. Oh, Undreamt Tuna. What up, lady? Good seeing you. Really appreciate the support. Hold on one second. Oops. They're just not doing anything. That's interesting. Huh. Okay. Cryptic command. This is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, huh? Well, I don't want them to flip Jason and then get damn back. That would be sad.
Interesting. No Jace activation again. Hmm. Okie dokie. I don't love that. Let's let this resolve. We'll bounce Conclave Tribunal. We'll get back Noxious Gearhawk and we'll kill the Jace. Oh, they do have inevitable trail. Oh God, I forgot a plus. That's unfortunate. <sighs> Get Grave Titan, I guess that's the scariest thing we've got. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we know they have tribunal in hand. That's interesting. Attack Jace, attack Jace, attack Jace. All right, in a perfect world, we draw a cryptic command next turn. Thank you. I guess I should have sent one more to the face, maybe? I don't even know. Shua Garner, what up? Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate you. There's that, there's that co conclave tribunal we were expecting. Always a pleasure. Mm. 
Okay, none of these are super impressive. Nothing you can blink here is actually that great. Sure. Chase Bellerin, huh? Well, let's see what this guy gets us. Hmm. They have one card in their hand. They're going to surely get Grave Titan here. I want to play this guy and we'll see what happens. I mean, it's going to be Grave Titan, and we're going to be sad we Cyclonic Rift already. Yep, there it is. Oh, wow, Glenlanger and Teferi. Seems good. Oh, and Dremtuna with the 203 bits. Isn't that special? I think we're dead here. It's not looking good, right? I also need five black mana, and I have four. Yeah, that's something, all right. They have one card in hand. Play this guy. One, two, three. Get this guy out here. So we're not dead yet. No attacking with Grave Titan here, huh? Thank you. Okay. That's interesting. Can someone explain to me how Dothy Voidwalker works with cards that don't have mana costs. Oh, J-Link, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Also, Snapcaster into Cyclonic Rift seems pretty good.
Retro Gear Hulk targeting. Oh, they're just they're just playing it. Sure. With literal zero targets. Yeah, because it says you may play it this turn without playing its mana cost. So I actually crack this, choose a thing, and then, you know, play the play the card. Like, nothing's on the stack at that point. So Snapcaster's pretty good, but Glenelender makes it look pretty bad. So I don't really know what to do about that. I have eight cards in hand. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. One, two, three, four. Then they play this guy. Hmm. This could be very good. Well, that's interesting. Just snap rift here, attack for like a bajillion. They can replay Torrential Gear Hulk and block like one of these two. Thank you. Oh, Odysseus with the gifted subs. Oh my God, dude. Thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome, dude. Really appreciate you. you. I kind of want to just get back their Teferi. I get back Teferi. I plus it. We can Snapcaster. Do we just, can we just kill them with that? Thank you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's very close. Thank you. Oh man, Odysseus, you are awesome, dude. Thank you, buddy. Sick, the sickest. Thank you. This is actually quite tricky. I don't know what to do here. I think we just have to do it. Thank you. Thank okay, you. I chose it. Cast it. Okay, that's pretty good. Thank so what do we do here? We can bounce the Banishing Light to get back Noxious Gear Hulk to kill the Teferi. Thank you. Or to kill the Gear Hulk, rather. Thank you. Why can't we overload the Snapcaster? I mean, we have we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven, eight, nine. I'm pretty sure you can definitely overload. Is that not true? You can't do that? Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Man, what a bummer.
keep this. Well, at worst, we can cast Nightfell Spectre and Jace the Mind Sculptor. It, it It is my birthday. Well, technically, it's it's 1 a.m., so it's like, like an hour past my birthday. But, yeah, I've been pretty good. Oh, Steam Vents and Stirring Wildwood. Totally normal lands. Oh, Polluted Delta. Now we can Fatal Push and Heartless Act. That is why I put Late Night Birthday Return Modern Cube Drafts. That's a hell of a title, but... Appreciate it, guys. Oh, yeah, but my Elder. That guy, uh... That kind of sucks. I mean, we're just gonna get a Black Source here. And by that, I mean Blood Crypt. Because we're definitely playing Night Vale Spectre, and... We're going to have to crack the fetch land one way or the other. Thank oh my god, did you see us with 10 more subs? Oh my god, dude. Canadians, am I right? We don't deserve them. Thank you. Dude, thank you so much, buddy. Missed you drafting. Well, I was. Thank you. Thank you. Odysseus, man, I appreciate you, man. That was two mans in the Thank same you. sentence. That's how you can tell I appreciated it. Thank you. Oh, Dreadbore. Well, Jace the Mind Sculptor. Thank you. Coming, coming in hot. They didn't get a second white, so... Do we play around Thank Stirring you. Wildwood or we just try to get the cards? I think we just try to get the cards because if they have another way to kill this, Thank you. I would rather make sure we hit lands. Thank yeah, you. That's actually fine. Man, Odysseus, you are a, a hero among men. So now we can play this for black and cast most of the things in our hand. God. You know, I was afraid of Bloodbraid Elf here. What are you going to do, I guess? I mean, if we plussed, Jace would go to one, which is still better. Got a damnation on top. Oh, Celestial Colonnade. Still six cards in their hand. Not sure I understand that. It's all making sense now. I mean, we're definitely killing that thing. Look at the king of town over here with his ivory tower thinking everyone has the time to read to just read titles. You're right. That was my bad. Their deck looks sweet. I mean, I killed their stupid Golos, but sweet nonetheless. I feel like this might be an 18 land deck and not what I meant. I don't know what you meant. You sound like a crazy person tonight. That's not true. I didn't mean that. Boy, they're just, uh, they're just giving me the business here tonight. Okay. Well, well, well. I mean, we don't have much to steal. Like, Night Vale Spectre steals, and then, like, 
I guess these do, but I don't know. Hmm. Thank you. The problem is they have three creature lands right now, which are very, very hard to uh, to deal with. Mog fanatic, thank you for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Rocking and rolling all week long. I feel like I'm darker now. Is that what does that mean? I don't know. Who knows what's happening? We can murder us, just kill their Jace. Then they tap down a black, and that's kind of awkward. I mean, we have to kill Jace. That's the bottom line. We could steal it, but then they just literally kill it with one or both of these creature lands. Two, three, activate. One, two, three, activate. Deal five to Jace. Nope. Yeah, I feel like we're way behind. Their deck seems very, very good. Our deck seems ill-suited to deal with it. They have so many must-deal must with threats. I mean, three lands and a binding is pretty fine when we have nothing going on, so it's not the worst we could have seen. We are elbowed. It's true. Well, I guess uh, I think we're just going to go to the next game here. This is not a game we're winning, unfortunately. Duress, Pact, Take Away, Dam take away Damnation, Take Away... Jace seems like it's probably pretty good. Take Away Electrolyze. I guess it does kill like a Johnny, but eh. Doesn't seem extremely relevant. Sure. Uh, let's keep it. Let's get a blood crypt. I don't know. We might just actually want to. We might just want an island. We're going to see. Because it's cryptic command, obviously. It's pretty good. Okay. I feel like Rakdos's return is a little stronger in the long run. You got it. So, Crox is gone, Swamp is gone. Sounds good. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think we want to maximize our chances to cryptic command their creature. Oh, Golos is nice. I might just Golos next turn. And when do they Misty? They just Misty for a blue source, right? And play. They Misty for like a breeding pool and play Yavin my Elder. Oh, just a green. Well, that gives us an extra turn. That's sad. Yep. Really would have liked a, an island there instead of a third swamp, but what can you do? Sometimes this is the life we've chosen. We can Atris and keep our keep our Ash. Oh, they, they, they top deck to Polluted Delta, so that's pretty good. Must be nice. <laughs> it's like, okay, cool. Yep, seems amazing. Had to hit a blue source within two cards, I guess. Yep. Cool. Yep, that's the end. I'm not going to deal with that nonsense. Thank you guys for watching. Good to be back. Really appreciate the support you guys have shown. Hopefully you guys are still there on the YouTube. And uh, I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.